Amir Khan, I know he's back here in the U.S. Um, there's been some pictures circulating around, people, you know, fans, oh, Amir Khan's fat, da 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 da, da. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen or have heard about the pictures. Um, I don't think you have any concerns about what his weight is or anything like that, but how soon are you hoping to get him back out to the gym and, and start preparing for his next fight? I assume he's probably going to want to get back in the ring sometime in December or something. Yeah, yeah, he'll be fighting in December sometime. He'll be here Thursday. I'll meet him in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. Thursday. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll be coming up to the Bay Area from there. So okay. he's ready to start at 12, 13 in camp. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So. What, what kind of, uh, I mean, obviously you're not going to reveal any info yet, or, or even if there is any info, but, but what kind of opponent are you hoping that he faces next? I know, you know, we've talked in the past, and you feel like he's the type of athlete that you need in order to jump into a fight with, you know, Floyd Mayweather, and, and there were some talks about him possibly doing that fight before. Um, is, is this a situation where, you know, you can throw him in with anybody? Um, is it a situation where, you know, you want, I don't want to say, you know, be picky about who you put him in, but is, is there a certain type of opponent you're looking to, uh, and, and kind of hoping to put him in with in order to get that Floyd Mayweather fight? You know what, I think the answer to that would be probably more accurate within the next three weeks. We sit down and talk to Al mm -hmm. Heyman and, um, Amir and myself and Al and, and uh, everybody else that's involved. Uh, I think probably the most important thing is is where he is right now is his next two fights and what does this fight lead to or where is it going to take him and where is it going. So I think to, to be more accurate and fair to him is to have something that's laid out, you know, so he can see where his steps are going. Mm -hmm. And then you can make a determination who we should fight in December uh, because you'll know what uh, that fight will bring on next year in May. So mm -hmm. um, if, you can if we can have that, then we can take it from there. But right now, we just want to get him there. Right, right. How, how difficult is that for a trainer, though? Like, how difficult is that from your standpoint when you, you know, okay, um, you know, at this particular time in the future, we want to face this type of opponent. Mm. So to prepare for that, you know, we need to face a certain type of style in order to get, you know, the type of look we need. You know, because obviously if you're going to fight, you know, a Floyd Mayweather, eventually you don't want to fight a bunch of guys who are just coming straight at you, you know, banging and, and, and swinging wild punches. You want to fight a guy that's going to give you that versatility. Is, is that a difficult process when you know, you're aware of that as a trainer, but you also have other people making decisions, managers, advice, you know, whoever it may be. You know, um, in the case of even like when you speak of Floyd Mayweather, I mean, there's nobody out there that you can get that would duplicate uh -huh. Floyd Mayweather. I mean, whether you fight him competitively or whether you bring him into camp to spar. Uh -huh. But at the same time, there's nobody out there that can duplicate Amir Khan, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, they're just, they're guys that just can't do what Amir Khan does. Mm -hmm. So, it's the saying that is, is that if Amir Khan keeps himself on track mentally mm -hmm. and physically, uh, regardless of who he fights in December, if uh, the Mayweather fight presents itself in May, I don't think to, to search out somebody who's close to Floyd, I don't see that person out there. I think the main thing is, is just keep him active, keep him mentally and physically right, and then if that moment presents itself, uh, to really rely on who he is mm -hmm. as opposed to who he needs or who's going to make him better prepared for Floyd. Nobody can prepare him better for Floyd than him himself. Mm -hmm. So th that that's on his shoulders. So. Um, we just want to keep him active and physically give him a, the best chance that he has uh, to be a mere Khan and a better mm -hmm. Amir Khan. A, a mere Khan with more understanding of his attributes and tools and a mere Khan who can look back once he steps in the ring that night and know that the past few months that I did it right and I'm prepared for this moment. Mm -hmm. So that, I think that's the most important thing to be prepared for the moment. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm sure, uh, you know, as opposed to finding somebody in a fight, you could even do. You could. You have the luxury of getting three or four guys in camp. Mm -hmm. uh, that if you put them all together, you might get 50% of Floyd, <laughs> and then, uh, and then you know the other 50% is on him. So right. uh, again, you know, there's 
you can't duplicate Floyd Mayweather, but you and you certainly can't duplicate Amir Khan. So mm -hmm. that's what makes it an interesting fight.